Hey, it's the fourth Playboy. And my Playboy's funny. Welcome to our podcast where we discuss pickup, <laughs> game, relationships. And sex, sex, sex. So we got a question here from episode 190 on YouTube. And the question was, love the podcast. How about one on the relationship dynamics and play on long-term threesomes and harem game? Yeah. They're two different things, so we're going to throw out the question on the threesome because a threesome is usually more situational. Yeah. One off, two off, maybe something that goes on over time, um, but it's not really a relationship. Right. If it does, it becomes into a rotation or you know something completely different. But when you talk about a harem or running a rotation of girls, the relationship is a casual relationship at its core. There's no heart. You're not anybody's boyfriend because otherwise you're cheating on each other. You know, you you could have an open relationship, but that's not what we really mean when we talk about rotations or running a harem. In, in this case, the girls know that you're seeing other women, but you don't throw it in their face. Yeah. So it's once, you know, in my book, you know, how to build a rotation and also in the whole system of how to build a harem, it kind of walks you into this of how you do this without hurting feelings, without making false promises. And the biggest thing that holds people back on this guy, on this for guys is she's going to be seeing other people too. Yeah. You're living in a fantasy world. If you think that she's not going to see other men while you're seeing other women casually. Okay, yeah. And guys need to either accept it or maybe this isn't for you. You know, I still go into serial monogamy. It's it's healthier. But again, this none of this is cheating. None of this is hiding. Girls have an idea that you're seeing other people, but again, you don't put them in the elevator or one's coming in and one's going out. You yeah. Know, you keep a healthy distance between them. Um, and that's my, you know, the relationship is that of a fun dating relationship, or you can be fuck buddies, or you can be friends with benefits. And she can even be a girlfriend candidate. But once you date, lock them in, have sex three or four times, you kick it down to once a week. Yeah. That's the system. That way you can see three girls every week. You know, so, so-and-so's so missed Tuesday, so-and-so's missed Thursday. You kind of leave the weekends open for, for new girls so you can go out. Or you make the schedule yourself, but they tend to stay on a schedule. That way they have a night that they know they're going to have fun. Yeah. And so that's as far as the relationship goes. What do you think? Well, my question is with a with a with a rotation versus a harem. Isn't I mean my understanding has always been that harems are a little bit more locked in. Like they are the girls are let's say ex- first of all know about each other in a lot more open way. I would I I is my understanding or my the way that I understood it up to this point, which is why I ask. Um, So they know about it, and it's not as hidden. Maybe, I mean, still not necessarily passing in the halls or in in their face. Um, But I, it's always been my understanding also with harems that they are much more expected, the girls are much more expected to consider him her boyfriend and not necessarily entertain outside sources. Mike, I guess my real question is, what would you consider Hugh Hefner's situation to be? I mean, now he's dead, but like, you know, he's living in a house. He's got, let's say three girlfriends. I mean, they they were very closely monitored. I mean, saying nothing of, of your thoughts necessarily one way or the other. That would be, Let's say they're not seeing other men. Yeah. We don't know. You know, they're, they're yeah. out in. Yeah, yeah. In that case, you're looking at a harem. Then again, who is Hugh Hefner? Right. When, if the guys are listening to this, you're not going to pull that off. Yeah, I'm just trying to, I'm trying to differentiate in my head. 
Well, you could differentiate even like a lot of guys think of a harem as three or four girls that live with him and they're all loyal to him and he supports them all. That is what you would call a true harem. Okay, see, that's what I'm thinking of. It's more like... But that is, I think, what they call a hard... I mean, don't hold me to this. There's a differentiation. You could have a hard harem or a soft harem. Uh And a soft harem kind of looks more like a rotation. Like a big rotation. Yeah. Um, I haven't seen anybody in the U.S. Yeah. And nobody, you know, that owns, like, a steel you know, manufacturing company or a lawn care company. You know, even guys that make really good money for it, for the area run three or four girls. Yeah. That live with him and are exclusive to him. Yeah. What you're going to see it's is, very rare. at best, a rotation, and the girls are going to come, and they're going to go, and they're going to come, and they're going to go, and you're always going to have new players and new actresses, you know, that's how you have to look at it. You just, and you can use, I use the words threesome and, uh, not threesome, but rotation and harem interchangeably. Yeah. Because a lot of guys don't know what a rotation is. Yeah. They can picture a harem. And and in the U.S., I think that's probably, I think it is used a lot more interchangeably. So that's, that's why, and that's why I ask. And I think, I think the biggest, the biggest thing for these guys that think they want this is one, she's seeing other guys, and he's going to dig around, and he's going to get his feelings hurt. Yeah. Jealousy's a big factor. Yeah. Or they can't keep it separate, or, you know, they just fuck it up for themselves, and they fuck it up for the girl, when it could be a very casual, fun relationship. Yeah. And, and the, the thing you have to know is, girls will come, and they're going to go. They may stick around for six months, but then when she has the itching, or the right guy comes along that is willing to give her more commitment, she'll go. Yeah. You know? But as far as the relationship dynamics, it's light, it's fun, it's sexy, you know, but the the qualities and the characteristics of game apply across the board and and will get you a lot further and get you a lot more girls and a lot higher quality girls. Over the over a good period of time, you get really good at managing women. Yeah, and they tend to be on their best behavior. It goes a long way. It's the most bizarre thing you'll ever experience. But so many problems that serial monogamous deal with, which is like, yeah, and then we had gone out for like three times, and then she ghosted me, and I didn't have anybody to go out with for like three weeks. That all goes to the wayside. Yeah. There's always new people coming in, you know. And it doesn't take that long to build up three or four girls. You just have to kind of keep them in the rotation. Yeah. And and a lot of this is subcommunication. I don't remember anybody asking me, where's this going? You know what I mean? <laughs> I mean, they, they looked at me and go, yeah, this ain't going nowhere. <laughs> you know I mean? Girls know. They'll tell you, yeah, I went out with this guy. Yeah, that wasn't going anywhere. But it was fun. It was fun. That's exactly it. That's how they'll describe it. And it can go on for weeks, months, years. Yeah. You know, and they'll leave and come back. Yeah. You know. Exactly. So I hope that answers your question. Uh, If this applies to you, if you've had some neat experiences with uh, successfully running a long-term rotation or harem, and uh, you want to share your thoughts and and expertise, we welcome that. Please post that in the comments below. We want you to win. Bye!